Well, lender reform, free education and human rights came under the spotlight at the Ushange High School in Inanda, KwaZulu-Natal, on Human Rights Day. Now, the event saw uh, scores of learners from schools in and around Inanda converge on the burial site of John Langalbali Ledube, the founding president of the ANC, to tackle modern-day challenges. Now, with the expropriation of land without compensation uh, featuring quite prominently. This is Ushange High School. Located at one of the highest points overlooking the township of Inanda, the school has rich political history for South Africa. It was the home of John Langalibale Dube, the founding president of the ANC. Dube was buried here in 1946. In 1994, during our first democratic elections, Nelson Mandela cast his vote here in tribute to Dube. And 24 years on, young people, lawyers, politicians, activists and members of civil society are discussing some of the challenges facing South Africa. As we observe Human Rights Month, young people are demanding answers on land, free education and human rights. Why does in other schools uh, uh, learners pay school fees if education is not to be sold? because education is also a right. I don't understand why Tina see owner of four percent and then born about come over my nabazwe got about only 72 percent. Will the people that's being distributed that land use it to to benefit our country or will that lead to food insecurity? A panel made up of lawyers, activists and politicians was on hand to provide answers. The reality is it is not sustainable to have these patterns of land ownership in this country. If these things are not attended, they will then reverse the gains that were made with the advent of democracy. And you have the right to protest. You have the right to organize the people and protest. But this underlying thing is that you need to protest peacefully. Why do people pay or students pay or parents are obliged to pay school fees? Uh, the bottom line is that if you can afford it, you should be paying for it. Am I correct? Because by you paying for it, it allows others who are deserving uh, of not paying for it, not paying for it. The KwaZulu Natal Health uh, MEC was the keynote speaker. Welcome. I want to say part of bringing back the land will be to restore our dignity and to restore our, our respect. We, we would really want to say, I, Leon to Aichigi, we really are demanding it. We are demanding it more. It's going, to, it's going to allow a black child, it's going to allow a South African child not to be restrained by color in terms of their outlook. As we continue to mark Human Rights Month, these learners say they will be keeping a close watch on government to see how free education will be rolled out and land reform implemented. They say South Africa owes it to people like John Langalibale Ledube and Nelson Mandela that free education and land reform happens in our lifetime. Janjicha Uke, SABC News.